Uh, this essay is about uh, Ginger, who was uh, 10 months old two days ago, on the 28th of, um, of August. Um, and you know, I've written about Ginger dozens and dozens of essays. But she's my second Irish setter. First Irish setter was called Ginger. And that was the beginning of my adult life. As soon as I came back from Scotland after doing some graduate work overseas, I got a job. And the next thing I did was get an Irish setter. At the other end of my life, in the twilight years, I got another Irish setter, and her name is Ginger. And Ginger, as I said, is 10 months old, hyperactive, and a 60 pound puppy. And we do a lot together, and um, her, she has a little Devon bed next to to my computer and she'll sit there looking at me while I'm working or sit on the couch behind me and just ponder about when the weekends are going to play. And um, I happen to come across um, a video about another ginger. Uh, and it was uh, <laughs> it was a a short video clip about uh, Ginger and the Professor in Gilligan's Island, a quarter century ago sitcom. And um, this Ginger, the, the adult female, uh, was kissing the Professor. And Ginger saw that, and it was there were two things that, that rattled her about the video. One was somebody else being called Ginger. <laughs> um, and the other one was the kissing. And we, we talked after the video was over about the, what seemed to be upsetting her. <clears throat> and her comment was, that's not the way you kiss me. And And I'll tell you, and I'd like to understand all the ramifications of this. It's interesting to me how, how we're able to communicate with other, uh, with particular dogs. Um, and, and this happens uh, probably three or four times every day that I will want to express my concern and love for Ginger and I'll go over and hold her muzzle and kiss her on her forehead. And she is so used to that that she just doesn't doesn't respond negatively or hyperactively. She just puts her head down, lets me kiss her, and then I move back and then I look in her eyes and I say, Ginger, I really love you. And that is a time when she just goes bonkers. You can see her body wiggling and her tail back and forth, back and forth, jumping around. She, she understands my affection for her. And uh, so this is an essay about the relationships that people can have with their animals, particularly dogs. But uh, I appreciate your listening to and watching this video and reading this essay. And you take care.